wanted to support as wide a variety of ideas as possible. So uh, one of the grants we made was to MIT precisely for those experiments that would lead toward giving people the news and information they need to manage their affairs in a community, focusing it on geography. The Civic Media Center brings an amazing set of expertise, both um, partly anthropological and sociological on one side, a great understanding of community and relationships, and then on the other, an amazing sophistication around technology. This particular meeting combines the experiments that have gone on at MIT as well as uh, experiments that have gone on uh, around the country and in some cases in other parts of the world, also part of the, uh, the Night News Challenge. I'm Scott Rosenberg and my project is called Media Bugs. The inspiration for the project comes from the open source software movement. Most projects have a bug tracker that's a public uh, a service that if you, find, if you find a problem with the software, you file a bug. And anyone can come along and do that. And so we're applying that concept, we're going to try to apply that concept to media coverage. And my name is Brenda Burrell and my project is the Freedom Phone. Freedom Phone is an effort to make interactive voice response or telephone trees uh, an information product that people can uh, use to reach out to their communities. Our goal is to inform organizations of a new way of reaching out to people, particularly people who have access to telephones rather than computers. My name is Josh Levenger. I'm a student at the MIT Media Lab and a fellow in the Center for Future Civic Media. And this project is called Virtual Gaza. It collects uh, stories from civilians who were affected by the bombing in January and puts their stories and pictures and video uh, on a map in a sort of community neighborhood uh, basis. My name is Katrine Ruklas. I'm the co-founder of an organization called mobileactive.org, which is a network of people from around the world who are using mobile technology for social change work. And my project is the Mobile Media Toolkit, which is a database and a set of resources on how to use mobile phones for media so that everybody who wants to be, can, can become a citizen journalist. Hi, uh, I'm Nadal Haroni. I'm here from the Media Lab and I'm actually presenting two projects. Uh, one is a low level for developers and one is an application to show what you could do with that. So the lower level project is called Community and the other project is called Snap and Share. The main issue of what I'm dealing with is related to close proximity communications. You know, we have good ways to pass to, to communicate with the other side of the world, but we still don't have good tools to communicate with people that are physically around us. And even though if we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices, people don't really use them to, to communicate directly to each other. And what I've been working on is to make it very easy to develop applications in this space. Hi, my name is John Ewing, and my project is Virtual Street Corners. Uh, Virtual Street Corners is a project between two neighborhoods in Boston. They're only about uh, two and a half miles apart. And there's a bus line that actually runs right between them. But there's very little interaction between the two communities. So what I've done is I'm going to transform two uh, glass storefronts, large glass storefronts in each uh, community, and create a live connection. My name is Alexander Zoltar, and my project is called Search Reporter. Uh, actually, my project is about building a platform for the citizens of Sochi to report, to document the changes which are occurring in the city while it's preparing to host the Winter Olympics in five years. My name is Jessica Mayberry and my organization is Video Volunteers. Our work is about training community people in developing countries to tell their own stories with video and then to broadcast these solutions within their own communities. And it's really about the fact that local communities do not have the news and information that they need. Hi, my name is Adityeshwar Seth. I'm one of the Knight uh, News Challenge winners from last year. And we're basically building systems to do low-cost uh, uh, systems for community radio stations in rural areas of India. So essentially, we want to reduce the cost of hardware as much as we can. And we want to do all the processing and software. My name is Ryan O'Toole, and I'm a graduate student at the Media Lab. 
and the name of my project is No Park. So sort of bringing into question this idea that, that Google Maps or the sorts of mapping technologies which are really prevalent today are, are thought of as um, you know, being totally empirical. But you know, really they're highly subjective. And so this is uh, you know, just kind of another form of, of highly subjective map which looks at an entirely different set of data than what you would find in like a Google map. Basically, it's a way for people to engage civically with their environment, with their community, and to feel like you know, they have ownership over that space by documenting things that are important to them about that space, which would otherwise go undocumented. And, you know, it's like if it's, if it's not documented, it's like it doesn't exist. If you don't have information, you can't decide. You, you don't know what the opportunities are. You don't know what the problems are. And so for us, it's not about saving newspapers. It's about informing communities so that the community, so that the people can decide what they want to do. And I look around here and I, I just want to scream for joy.